I arrived in Macedonia as part of my quest to visit all the capitals of Europe, and it marked the penultimate stop on my journey. The decision to explore Macedonia before reaching the final destination was driven by a desire to savor its cultural richness and scenic beauty, making it a crucial and memorable chapter in my travel adventure. Madre Teresa, also known as Mother Teresa, was indeed born in Skopje, which is now the capital of North Macedonia. She was born on August 26, 1910, in what was then part of the Ottoman Empire and later became part of Yugoslavia. Mother Teresa dedicated her life to humanitarian work, particularly in helping the poor and sick. North Macedonia takes pride in being the birthplace of Mother Teresa, and there are memorials and museums dedicated to her in Skopje. The country has a deep connection to her legacy, and her birthplace is an important cultural and historical site in North Macedonia. Skopje, the capital city of North Macedonia, is known for its cleanliness and safety. The city takes pride in maintaining a clean and well-kept environment, with efforts directed towards preserving its cultural heritage and modern infrastructure. Additionally, Skopje is considered a relatively safe destination for travelers. The city has a generally low crime rate, and the local authorities take measures to ensure the safety and security of residents and visitors alike. As with any destination, it's always advisable for travelers to exercise common safety precautions and stay informed about their surroundings. Overall, Skopje offers a welcoming and secure environment for those exploring its historical, cultural, and scenic attractions. During my visit to Skopje, I took the opportunity to explore the city's scenic beauty, including the river that flows through it, the river in Skopje, often referred to as the Vardar River, adds a picturesque charm to the cityscape, strolling along its banks. I enjoyed the serene atmosphere and the views of the surrounding architecture, bridges, and landmarks. The riverbanks may also feature parks and promenades, offering a pleasant setting for both locals and visitors to relax and take in the natural beauty of Skopje. It was a delightful experience to immerse myself in the sights and sounds of the river, adding to the overall allure of this vibrant Macedonian capital. My visit to Skopje was marked by the captivating presence of numerous statues throughout the city. Skopje is renowned for its rich display of sculptures, monuments, and statues that adorn its streets, squares, and public spaces walking through the city. I encountered a diverse array of statues, each telling a unique story and contributing to the city's distinctive charm. During my time in Skopje, I had the pleasure of exploring the Old Bazaar, a cultural and historical gem that beautifully reflects the city's rich heritage. The Old Bazaar in Skopje is a vibrant and bustling market district, offering a captivating blend of traditional architecture, cobblestone streets, and a diverse array of shops and stalls. As I wandered through the narrow alleys, I discovered a treasure trove of local crafts, souvenirs, and authentic Macedonian products. The atmosphere was filled with the aromas of traditional cuisine, and the sights and sounds of local life added to the authenticity of the experience. Macedonia experiences a Mediterranean climate with hot, dry summers, the summer months, which typically span from June to August are characterized by warm to hot temperatures and minimal rainfall. Daytime temperatures often range from 25 to 35 degrees Celsius, 77 to 95 degrees Fahrenheit, in some areas, especially in the valleys. Temperatures can occasionally surpass 35 degrees Celsius, 95 degrees Fahrenheit. The Skopje Fortress, also known as Kale Fortress, is a historic landmark perched on the highest point overlooking the city and the Vardar River. The fortress has roots dating back to the Roman period, but it underwent numerous renovations and expansions under different rulers, including the Byzantines, Bulgarians, and Ottomans. Its diverse architectural elements reflect the influence of various civilizations that have shaped 
the region's history. During the era of socialist Yugoslavia, which included the period when Macedonia was part of the Federation, a distinct form of communist architecture emerged. This architectural style, often referred to as socialist or communist architecture, reflects the ideologies and aspiration of the socialist regime. Taking a bus from Skopje to explore these canyons is a great way to experience the natural beauty and outdoor activities that Macedonia has to offer. Whether you enjoyed hiking, boating, or simply taking in the scenic views, the canyons provide a refreshing escape into nature. Located just southwest of Skopje, Maka Canyon is known for its picturesque scenery, tranquil lake, and the Maka Dam. You can take a boat ride on the Maka Lake, explore the caves and rock formations, and enjoy hiking trails in the surrounding area. Maka Canyon is renowned for its stunning natural beauty. Characterized by towering cliffs, lush greenery, and the tranquil waters of the Tresca River, the canyon is surrounded by rugged mountains, creating a picturesque setting that appeals to nature enthusiasts and adventure seekers alike. The canyon offers a network of hiking trails that cater to various skill levels, whether you're an avid hiker or a casual walker. The trails provide opportunities to immerse yourself in the natural surroundings, offering panoramic views of the canyon, river, and surrounding landscapes. Maka Canyon is not only a haven for nature lovers, but also a site of historical significance. The area is dotted with medieval monasteries, such as the Monastery of St. Andrew, adding a cultural and historical dimension to the visit. The canyon is home to Maka Lake, an artificial reservoir formed by the Maka Dam. The lake's calm waters reflect the surrounding cliffs and create a serene atmosphere. Boat trips on Maka Lake offer a unique perspective of the canyon, allowing visitors to appreciate its geological features and hidden caves. Adventure enthusiasts can indulge in activities like rock climbing, kayaking, and fishing. The canyon's diverse offerings make it a versatile destination catering to a wide range of interests. The canyon's history begins millions of years ago, with geological processes that shaped its impressive limestone cliffs and intricate cave systems. The Tresca River, flowing through the canyon, gradually carved out the stunning landscape we see today. The Maka region has been inhabited since ancient times. Archaeological findings indicate that the area around the canyon was home to various civilizations, including the Neolithic period, the proximity to freshwater sources, and the natural protection offered by the canyon cliffs made. It an attractive location for settlement. Embarking on a boat trip in Maka Canyon is a mesmerizing adventure that allows visitors to immerse themselves in the stunning natural beauty of this Macedonian gem. The boat trip offers a front row seat to the breathtaking scenery of Maka Canyon as you cruise along Maka Lake. Surrounded by towering cliffs and lush greenery, you'll be enchanted by the tranquil atmosphere and the reflections of the landscape in the crystal clear waters. The boat trip takes you across Maka Lake, which is nestled between the rugged cliffs of the canyon. The calm waters provide a peaceful setting, allowing you to absorb the beauty of the natural surroundings. The boat glides smoothly, offering panoramic views of the canyon's geological formations. A highlight of the boat trip is the exploration of Rello Cave, one of the deepest underwater caves in Europe, navigating through the cave by boat. You'll marvel at the captivating stalactite and stalagmite formations that adorn its interior. The play of light on the water adds an enchanting quality to the cave exploration. The boat trip may take you to hidden coves and inlets along the shoreline of Maka Lake. These secluded spots offer a sense of tranquility, 
providing opportunities for reflection and appreciation of the unspoiled nature that surrounds you. Maka Canyon, with its stunning natural beauty and historical significance, also offers a range of dining options for visitors looking to savor local cuisine. In a picturesque setting, while the number of restaurants may be limited compared to urban areas, there are establishments in and around Maka Canyon that provide a delightful dining experience. Along the banks of the Tresca River or with a view of Matka Lake, several cafes and restaurants offer outdoor seating where visitors can enjoy a meal or a refreshing drink. While immersed in the scenic surroundings, these establishments often provide a laid-back atmosphere, making them perfect for relaxation. The color of the water in Maka Canyon is a captivating and distinctive shade of turquoise and emerald green. This stunning hue is a result of various factors, primarily the geological composition of the region and the natural surroundings. The city comes alive as its iconic landmarks are beautifully illuminated after sunset, the stone bridge, the Vardar River, and the statues and monuments that adorn the city center are bathed in soft, colorful lights, creating a picturesque scene. Skopje, the capital of North Macedonia, has a rich cultural and religious heritage, and several mosques stand as significant symbols of the city's Islamic history. These mosques not only serve as places of worship, but also stand as cultural and historical landmarks, reflecting the city's multicultural past. Visitors to Skopje have the opportunity to explore these mosques, appreciate their architectural beauty, and gain insights into the rich Islamic heritage that has shaped the identity of the city over the centuries. The old bazaar's history is deeply intertwined with the Ottoman Empire's influence in the region. The bazaar's foundations were laid during the Ottoman period in the 15th century, when Skopje became an important administrative and trade center within the empire. The old bazaar quickly established itself as a bustling commercial hub, characterized by narrow winding streets, vibrant marketplaces, and diverse shops. Merchants and craftsmen from various cultures and backgrounds converge here, contributing to the area's multicultural atmosphere. Over the centuries, the old bazaar witnessed numerous architectural additions and modifications. Ottoman-style buildings with characteristic domes, minarets, and courtyards became integral to the bazaar's aesthetic, the architectural ensemble includes mosques, hammams, Turkish baths, caravansary, and bezistan's covered markets. The architecture in Macedonian cities, including the capital Skopje, is often characterized by a mix of historical and modern structures. While there are notable landmarks, government buildings, and contemporary developments, the absence of exceptionally tall skyscrapers contributes to a distinct urban aesthetic. This aspect of the country's architecture reflects a combination of historical preservation, urban planning considerations, and the overall scale of development. Visitors to Macedonia often find that the cities maintain a more human-scale urban environment, with an emphasis on cultural and historical landmarks rather than towering high-rises. As with any nation, North Macedonia's characteristics are diverse and evolving, shaped by its historical, cultural, and geopolitical context.